Get out YouTube. Haven't come across anyone else that's done this on YouTube, so while I remember, I'm gonna make a quick video. So I have a Randall T2 amp there and no foot controller. But you can program it with any MIDI foot controller apparently. I've got a Joyo PXL Live. Obviously it's got MIDI capabilities. I've uh, I've got a five pin DIN cable there, MIDI cable, whatever it's called. Plugged into the back of the Randall. The Randall's got a seven pin port, but you can plug a five pin cable into it uh, as long as you provide power. And this is powered by my power supply. Now, I'm still learning this damn thing myself, so I don't know all the terminologies and my information might be a little bit off, but I've at least got this thing to switch channels and like um you know pick like loop on loop off and preset it into whatever bank and button now i'm not even 100 percent sure that you have to do this but i think it uh is required so let's choose a bank that's got nothing all right this isn't switching any channels there's no midi getting sent out from here So what I've figured out is, so you turn the Randall off. Okay, you've got to hold down the channel select button and then turn it on. Hold the button in, turn it on. You'll see that the clean button is flashing. So if you push the loop on button, it will cycle through all the channels, 16 channels. If you push it, Again, that's channel two. And it'll cycle through all the channels and the correct LEDs will light up. Refer to the manual and it'll tell you what um, channel it's on, assuming that it's right. If it's the same as the V2 amp. But yeah, I'll just turn it off, hold down the button, turn it on. I believe that's channel one, but I've got it working on channel two. So push the loop on button once, that's channel two. You want to send your MIDI stuff to channel 2 now. Then you can edit it later. Okay, I've got nothing on here right now. So you hold down the mute button for a couple of seconds. You want to go to... <laughs> in the instructions it says MA, but on the screen it says NA. I think it can fit the uh, full letter or something. Okay, then push B. From there, I leave it on E1, push D, it goes to program change. I've left it on program change, that's off, that's, was it, continuous controller. I know that it works with program change, so I'm going to just do that. Push mute once, okay, E1, I leave it on E1. Push B, A1, that's for the channel that you're sending to, so on this one, we do make a change. Then it goes to the channel that you want to send to. And we've got that on channel 2, so you want to change this to channel 2. Okay, to save that, push, push mute once, okay, push B. Push D. So this is the preset that you want to switch to on the amp. If you look at the T2 V2 instructions, under here, it's got the preset numbers here. So let's say I want to go to channel 1 with loop, sorry, FX loop on and graphics EQ off, which we don't have on this amp anyway. So I want to, I want the clean channel. It says preset four. So set it to preset four. And that's for the A button. Hold to save. That should be done. Still flashing away. All right, let's go to 
bank 7B. So same thing again. Hold mute. Bank up to MA or NA. Push B. Push D. We're going to make sure it's on program change. Push mute once. Push B. Push D. Channel 2. Push mute. Push B. Push D. Oh, we don't want that. I was playing with that a while ago. So we want to go to channel 2. And what preset is that? That's for the distortion channel. I want preset 5 here. So it's channel 2, which is the crunch channel. Effects loop on, graphics EQ off. If you don't want the effects loop to come on, then pick another preset uh, without the effects loop on. But I want preset 5. Make sure it's set on 5. Save, hold mute, couple of seconds. That should be set. Should be clean, crunch, and then the high gain channel. Push C. Let's configure that one. Same again. It's so simple, but it took me bloody hours and hours to figure this out. Now it seems very easy. But I've still got a lot to learn about this. And A, B, D. Make sure that's on program change. Push mute once. Push B. Push D. So we're communicating on channel 2. Push mute once. Push B. Push D. And that's the preset. So for that one, high gain. Preset 6. So that's channel 3 on. Effects loop on. Graphics EQ off, which we don't have, as I said. So program 6. Oops. And then save. And with a bit of luck, if I didn't stuff up, it should be working. On the V2, you push the graphics uh, EQ button and it exits out of this. So I don't know how you exit out of this, so I'll just bloody turn it off and on again. Turn it on. I don't have this Randall plugged into the PV, by the way. <laughs> it's just sitting on there to so I can reach the MIDI cable. The cabinet's there. Okay. I just got it on the crunch channel right now. Yep, that changed to the clean. If I push B, it should change to the gain channel. Yes. C, it should change to the high gain channel. Look at that. A, B, C. B C How awesome is that? I looked all around the world online to try to find the original RF4T2 foot switch. You can't bloody find it anywhere. And the people that do have it advertised don't have it in stock. So yeah, just use a alternative MIDI uh, foot controller like the Joyo PXL Live. I'm so happy! I can finally use my amp to full capacity without having to walk over and manually change the uh, channels over. You're bloody welcome! Cheers guys, catch it.